Hey, Kevin, what are you doing? Oh, one of my fans sent me a private message the other day, and he said, Kevin, I am trying to hang up this big, heavy wall sculpture, and I'm not quite sure what to do, how to hang it up there, because I don't want it to fall off. So I thought about using a French cleat, but the problem is he had no idea what a French cleat was. So a French cleat is really very, very simple. This is your wall that you're going to mount to over here. You have this piece, this shape right in here, with two screws that are going to go, that are going to go into your wall. You're going to bolt that right against the wall. You've got a mirror image of this that's going to be upside down and backwards that's going to get screwed into the sculpture itself. So you're just going to pick that whole thing up and set it right on top of there and gravity is just going to help hold it in and hold it down at the same time. And it just so happens I happen to have a handy dandy jig lying around. Clamp the back of the French cleat to. But you know, rather than sit here and try to get all this lined up, hey, check this out. Now it's lined up. And just another handy little jig. I've got all kinds of different dimensional uh, pieces of stock lying around so I can get the next piece of my cleat welded in place. And of course the last piece of the wedge, well other than the two ends, <laughs> but the, the, we the angle on the cleat, if you will, just gonna have to hold it in place and I'll just get attacked, get attacked. So there's your basic shape. That's all you're really looking for. It's just an angle like that. So of course the next step in this process right here would be to get a couple of tacks on the back side here. And then you're gonna cut your end caps, get those fit, get those tacked on, get everybody welded up. So you drill two holes in here. You know, and another thing you could do, but go ahead and drill a hole in here for your two bolt holes, you know, your two screws that you're gonna mount it with. But drill it a little bit oversized, put a piece of pipe in there, and then weld it on both sides. So now you're clamping against that piece of pipe instead of against a hollow structure. So it's not gonna crush. This would be bolted to the wall. You'd make another one of these that would be this way, and it would get bolted to your sculpture. So you, got, you, have, a, you have this cleat sitting off the wall like this. Now you have this cleat on the, your sculpture itself, and they're just gonna come over and sit right on top of one another. You know, and really what you could do is just figure out how long you need, make this twice as long, and then just cut it in two. That way everything's gonna line up, everything's gonna be just the way you need it. So hopefully that'll point you in the right direction. You ever wanna hang up something on a wall? This is one way to do it. And oh yeah, I used to make these out of wood, you know, like a two by four on a bandsaw or on a table saw too. So you can also use wood, you don't need to use metal. So you guys reach down here and hit that subscribe button for me. I'm gonna get back to work and I'll see y'all next time. So a French cre... <laughs> a French cretin? <laughs>